the status of martyrs in the sight of their Lord. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, don't think of those who have been killed in Allah's way as dead. They are alive with the Lord, well provided for, happy with what Allah has given them of his favor, rejoicing that for those who they have left behind, who have yet to join them, there is no fear, nor will they grieve, rejoicing in Allah's blessing and favor, and that Allah would not let the reward of the believers be lost. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, there is no God but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and that Muhammad is a servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and, bl and blessing be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the day of judgment. Martyrdom for the sake of the Almighty Allah is a, one of the highest ranks and one of the greatest devotional acts. It is Allah who chose those heroes who sacrificed themselves in order to support and define the truth. Protect their homeland and save its people and territories. Allah said in the Quran, so that Allah may make evident those who believe and may take to himself from among you martyrs. Therefore, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, has specified high ranks and great virtues and blessing for martyrs. This is so evident in the hadith that the Prophet sallallahu has said, by him in whose hand my life is, I would love to be martyred in Allah's cause and then get resurrected and then get martyred and then get resurrected again and then get martyred and then get resurrected again and then get martyred. The merit of martyrs include they are alive with by their Lord. They are alive with by their Lord. It is a life beyond the perception of a human being. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, do not say that those who are killed in Allah's cause are dead. Do not say that those who are killed in Allah's cause are dead. They are alive. They are alive though you don't realize it. It is reported that Jabir ibn Abdullah said, the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, met me and told me, O oh Jabir, why do I see you upset? O oh Jabir, why do I see you upset? I said, O oh Messenger of Allah, my father was martyred in the battle of Uhud, leaving my family and debt behind. He sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, shall I give you a news of what your father met Allah with? He said, of course. Oh, Messenger of Allah. He said, of course. Oh, Messenger of Allah. He said, Allah does not speak to anyone except from a behind a veil, but he brought your father to speak to him directly. He said, oh, my slave, do you wish that I give you anything? Do you wish that I give you anything? He said, oh Lord, give me life so that I may fight for you a second one or a second time. So the Lord, the Most High said, it has been decreed by me that they shall not return. Jabir said, so this ayah was revealed. Don't think of those who have been killed in Allah's way or as dead. They are alive with their Lord will provide it for. Moreover, just the martyrs are alive with their Lord. They are alive in the memory of the homeland, in the memory of their homeland. And their heroic stories would not be forgotten. No matter how long time that passes, another merit. Another merit for the martyrs is that their soul enjoy blessing with the Lord.
Their soul enjoy blessing with the Lord and the soul go around in paradise as they wish. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, when your brother were killed at the battle of Uhud, Allah put their spirit in a crops of green birds which go down to the river of paradise, eat its fruit and nestle in lamb of gold of shade of the throne. Another merit. Another merit for martyrdom, for martyrs, is that they will be the people of a great reward and complete light on the day of judgment. As the Almighty Allah says, the martyrs with the Lord will have the reward and their light. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam told Umm Haritha Ibn Suraqa when she asked about the destiny of her son Haritha when she asked about the destiny of her son Haritha who was martyred in the battle of Uhud O oh, mother of Haritha in the gardens of paradise there are many ranks and your son has attained Al Firdaus the highest May Allah give all of us al-firdaus. Allahumma ameen. Another merit for the martyr is that they will intercede for their families on the day of resurrection. So they will intercede for their families in the day of resurrection. A reward from Allah to those families for their good upbringing and education. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, a martyr will be permitted to, insert, to intercede for 70 of his relatives. Another merit. Another merit for the martyr is that the recording of the reward of their good deeds will not, will not cease. Rather, the rewards will be given complete and will be multiplied. The Prophet ﷺ said, the actions of every dead person come to a halt with his death except the one who is in the furniture uh, in Allah's path means observing ribat. This letter's death will be made to go on increasing for him till the day of resurrection and who will be secure from the trials in the grave. All praise is due to Allah the Lord of all worlds. May Allah peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, his companions and followers. It goes without saying that the status of martyrs is given only by the true martyr who know the truth, protect it and sacrifice himself sincerely for its sake. The true martyr is the one who dies while defending his land. The true martyr is the one who dies while defending his land, honor, homeland, and its security and safety. The Prophet ﷺ said, he who is killed while protecting his property is a martyr. And he who is killed while defending his family is a martyr and or his blood or his religion is a martyr however we affirm that being loyal to the lives of our martyr obliged us to be a soldier for this great homeland everyone in his respective field and that each of us exert his utmost power to serve it we all should stand we all should stand as one man behind our army, police, and other national institutions asking Allah to grant us the reward of martyrdom as the Prophet Sallallahu said, he who supplicates Allah sincerely for martyrdom, Allah will elevate him to the situation of the martyrs even if he dies on his bed. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah save our country Egypt and all countries of all world. Thank you.